Hello there. I'm just getting this done. Get installed and uh, put the half inch hose. Uh, the couple are actually fishing each other to avoid any dirt and mud get into it. Um, took me a while to get it going, but it's all painted. It's a um, probably you can tell what this is all about. So, uh, and actually the folks don't have any idea what this is all about. It's a excavator drived hydraulic cement or concrete mixer. This one is a pretty good size, 42 inches wide, about 30 inches thick. So if it's fully loaded, a complete load could do a half inch or three quarter of an inch. I wouldn't push it. If this thing makes up half yard, that would be great. So two bags of cement with some aggregate, half yard, will take about two minutes to make. Because this is making by the X letter, so it's much easier. So I have uh, choosing those gears, which is a hydraulic motor is a pretty powerful one. It's a 80 RPM, so it's a lot of torque. So after the uh, reduction gear, which is 124 or 125, so I got about 18 RPMs now. That's why it's so much torque. One day, I jam a little rocks on the paddle, so I shared this half-inch pin. Imagine that. So I have to make a new key to it. The key actually shared due to the stress. However, that will be a good news. That means you've got tons of uh, torques. There's a four paddle, which is angled towards one direction. Therefore, once it's agitating or mixing, they can go forward and backward. I put my offset bones on my Hitachi, the hydraulic output to this, so there's a control foot valve can go forward and backward. So the safety grade, and also there's a couple of giant teeth that's called cement bag breaker. So you break two bags of cement and then the uh, only thing you need to do is to add water. So it's making a cement to become an easy job. Well, half cubic yard compared to a little barrels I have, this will make about five loads of that in one shot. Because the excavator can drive it to the wear you want to dump it, or I have a, a side discharge, which is a, can dump it precisely to where you want. So if you don't need that, you can just close the shot, and then just getting the load going. So. Um, what I only didn't do is, I saw people, folks actually making a huge reduction gear. I guess their hydraulic motor is too fast. This is a slow one. So at 80 RPM, it's a very, very hard to find. It's a super slow with a huge amount of torques. And then, uh, so that's, you see in there, that's a little my Hitachi. What I did is actually I made the three wheel valves of the offset boom, which is super useful when you do a square hole for the septic tanks. You just sit in your machine there, digging the way without do anything. Just one position you can dig a perfect eight by eight square hole or eight by ten or eight by twelve, whatever. So this one so I use that offset fluid 
as a power to drive this. So I need a three-way valve. So I can turn the three-way from offset to the cement mixer. And then uh, the cement mixer can go forward and backward. Great. Well, I've been tried it. It works really well. But only thing is that I wait for the paint to dry so I can do a field test putting a, like a bunch of aggregate and then uh, see how it's mixing. Yeah, it should work. I mean, I tried it, so but I'll try it one more time with some project going. So you can pour a garage driveway with this in about two hours. Well, me and my friend just hand bumped 50 bags of cement plus aggregate. We spent the whole day. I didn't do a great job because each time you only make one uh, little little barrel of load. That's a one sixth or one seventh of a cubic yard. The things can agitate. If you are doing it properly, you can do a three quarter of a yard in one shot. Three quarter of a yard. That is about six or seven load or eight load of a uh, well barrel or those little um, we call the home little mixer. So that's the cover and uh, once the cover is on there so the sand and water and dirt wouldn't go into the gear. And also that's a very expensive item or attachment for an excavator. Oh by the way, my Hitachi is a five metric ton. So this thing would handle it really easy. I can actually truck in the aggregate so this can scoop from right up right out of the truck and then um, crack a couple of bags of cement and then add some water. We go. You get some cement. If you want them a little smoother or a little, little uh, puffy, you add some lambs so to add some air into it. Very good. So I'll just walk around one more time so you can see what the general con construction and then this gate opens so you can take that off if you want if you don't need that take that off oh by the way the shaft is an inch and a quarter with the uh, pivoting uh, bearing base so allowing a little bit in procession so they can wiggle a little bit with no trouble so the pin is made for a Hitachi 5 metric to a 6, 7 metric ton, up to 8 metric ton, the same pin size. 10 metric ton is larger than this. So, oh well. Um, thank you for sharing the time and watching this. I um, keep making more stuff. If you look at there, there's a little bucket. That's the 16-inch uh, service bucket I made of by a scrap metal. This is about three years, four years after. It works really well. So um, I'll make another video to update that to see how that thing's doing. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.